guys, it's Anna. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute little flower skirt. This little motif slash pattern has been really trendy lately and I've seen a ton of people make like sweaters and other tops and things like that. And this can also be made to any length that you want and I'll like go over that in the video. But if you wanted to make like a maxi skirt version of this, you could do that and that would be actually so cute. So if you guys do that, send me a picture or tag me or something. It's really not super difficult. You just have to know how to do single crochet, chain, slip stitch, double crochet, and treble crochet. And I do like walk you through the stitches a little bit, but I would recommend like knowing how to do the stitches beforehand. But I do think that you can do this as a beginner. If you follow along and watch what I'm doing and follow and do exactly what I do and count your stitches. I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, if you run into any problems, then just comment them below and I will try my best to help you figure out what's going on. Let's get into the tutorial. You're gonna need some yarn. This is the Patton's Grace cotton yarn. And here is the information for this yarn. You're also gonna need a crochet hook. This one is 3.5 millimeters. I will say that I actually prefer using this yarn. This is the Bernat Softy Baby Cotton Yarn. It's also a weight three yarn, but it's a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just using this one for another project, so I'm gonna use this yarn instead. But I find that this Bernat yarn with the 3.5 millimeter hook is like perfect. But this one is also just fine with the 3.5 millimeter hook. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be using today. You're gonna need some scissors and then you'll need a darning needle to weave your ends in at the end. So the first step is to take your yarn and make a slip knot. So I'll show you how to do that if you don't know. Um, but just take your yarn and wrap it around your finger like that to make a loop and then go through that loop and pick up this piece of yarn and pull it through like that. And now just insert your hook into the loop and tighten it down. And now we're gonna be chaining enough to go around the widest parts of like our butt basically. So I'll show you how to chain if you don't know, basically just wrap the yarn around the hook like that and then turn your hook down and pull it through the loop and up like that. So that's one chain two, three, and so on. So that's what a chain is. And I'll show you like what I mean for the measurements, um, for like figuring out how long you need to make it. And I also wanna mention that your chain needs to end up being a multiple of 24 because that's like the width of the flower stitch that we're gonna do. Okay, this is kind of what I wanted to show you for measuring how long your chain needs to be. So I ended up doing 144 chains and I'll put up like the um, multiples of 24 here so you don't have to do the math if you don't want to. But basically I'm just wrapping it around like at the widest part of your hips or butt or whatever. Just wherever you're the widest here, you want to wrap it around that. Um, and then just put the end of this chain to the beginning like that and just kind of hold it there and make sure that you have some room. Obviously I'm wearing shorts right now, but you would want to do this like not wearing any bottoms so you can see how it's actually going to fit. But as you can see, like I have some space there um, and it's not like too tight and you need to be able to like get it on over your butt and stuff. So yeah, and this is going to be at our waist, but we're going to be doing like a drawstring through the waist. So you don't have to worry if it's too loose in the waist. You just need to make sure that it's a good fit here and looks something like this. I would say if you're kind of on the edge between two different ones to probably go with the looser one just to be safe. Like I said, I did 144 chains. So at this point, I'm just gonna flat lay the whole chain so that there's no twists or anything because we're about to connect our beginning chain to the chain we just did. So as you can see, it's all like laid flat um, and there's no twists in it. So I'm gonna reinsert my hook into that 144th chain for me. It's gonna be different for you maybe, but 
And now I'm gonna insert my hook into this very first chain. I'm trying not to block you, but we're gonna go into this first chain here from the front, like so. Just insert your hook into that very first chain there. And now grab your yarn and just make a slip stitch. So pull through both loops and now just chain one, or chain two, sorry. So we've chained two. And this chain two is going to count as our first double crochet. And we're gonna be doing double crochets all the way around in every single stitch, but this is considered our first double crochet. So now I'm gonna do 143 remaining double crochets since again, this is our first one. And for every single row that we do, we're gonna end it and start it the same way. I'll show you how we end it after we do our double crochets. But you start it with the chain two, and then you're gonna go into the very next stitch, but not this very next hole underneath the chain two because this is counting as our first double crochet. So we already have a double crochet in that stitch, if that makes sense. So you're gonna wrap your yarn and go into the next stitch which is gonna be right there. So I'll try and show you that. We're not going in here, we're gonna go into the, run, the one right next to it. Like that. And then you wanna get both loops of the chain on your hook, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So we just made a double crochet, I'll show you again. You wrap the yarn, go into the next stitch right there, like so. Pull your yarn through two loops and then two more loops. And if you don't know how to do a double crochet, I'd recommend just um, looking up how to make a double crochet on YouTube. So here, since we're counting this chain two as our first double crochet, we have made five double crochets, one, two, three, four, five. And for me, uh, my chain was 144. So I am gonna make 144 double crochets total. And we have five, so 139 to go. I've done my double crochets all the way around. And again, I'm like flattening it out making sure that there's no twists or anything and we're gonna line these up and connect them. So now including this chain two right there, I have made 143. So for my final one, I'm gonna go into this stitch right there. This is the turning chain. And then we're gonna go into this stitch right before the turning chain. Again with a double crochet. And now to connect the two, we're gonna go into this second chain of the chain two. So this is the first chain and then this V is the second chain. So we're gonna go in with a slip stitch. So that's the first chain, second chain, go into there like that. And then pull your yarn through. That first loop is kind of tight and then pull it through the second loop. And now chain two. Again, just double check to make sure that this isn't twisted. And you definitely wanna make sure that you have the correct number of stitches. So go back and count all the ones that you did on that previous row. Obviously not counting this new chain two because this is for the next row. But yeah, count every single one and make sure you have a multiple of 24 or else it won't be right and you won't be able to do the design properly. For our second row, right after we just chain two, we are gonna make 10 double crochets total, but remember we're including this first chain two as a double crochet, so we're gonna make nine additional double crochets. And we're gonna go into this first stitch here, so we're not going into this hole right there, we're gonna go into the stitch right next to it. And that's gonna be what we're counting as our second double crochet. And like I said, we're doing 10. So that's three. Just going into every stitch, that was four, 
five. I've done 10 double crochets total. Again, counting the chain two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now you're gonna chain two and we're gonna make our first hole. So we're gonna chain two like that and then we're gonna skip the next two stitches, which is this one and this one. We're skipping those and we're going into the third with a double crochet. So this is the stitch that we're already in right now. This is the next stitch. This is the next stitch. And then we're going to the next one, that third one with a double crochet like so. And now we're gonna do three more double crochets. So we have a total of four here in a row because we just made one. So three more. So that's our second, our third, and then our fourth. And now we're gonna chain two again and we're gonna make another hole like we did right there. So again, we're skipping these next two stitches and going into the third. So this is what it should look like for you. And now we are gonna do 15 additional double crochets because we want a total of 16 and we just made one. So we're gonna do 15 more into every single stitch, one into every single stitch for a total of 15. So I finished my 16 double crochets here and you wanna go ahead and count like multiple times to make sure that you have the proper number. So you should have 10, hole, four, hole, 16 so far. And then we're gonna make another hole. And at this point, we're just doing what we did here. So we're about to make our first hole of two. So just like we did before, skip these next two stitches and go into the third with a double crochet. And then we're gonna make three more. So now we have one hole before and then we're gonna make our second hole. So just chain two and then we're gonna skip these next two stitches and go into the third with a double crochet. And you can kind of see the pattern, what we have going on. So we have 10 and what's gonna happen by the way, the reason this is 10 is that we're gonna have six on this side once we go all the way around. So it'll be 16 like what we have here so it's just kind of a continuous pattern so anyway and then we do the hole and then four and then the hole then 16 then a hole then four then a hole and then we're doing 16 again so this is our first we need 15 more for a total of 16 so i'm going to go into this next stitch and just do double crochets until i have 16 in a row and then we're gonna just keep doing the same pattern where we do a hole and then four and then a hole and then 16 more all the way until the end. So I'll do like one more um, repetition of this after doing the 16 and then I'll just let you do the rest of it because you just repeat the same thing. Okay, I just did my 16th and again, you should keep recounting and recounting to make sure because it's really important that you get this first row right. I mean, every row is important, but this is like the basis for all the other ones. So you need to make sure you get this one right. So after the 16th, we're gonna chain two and then skip two stitches, go into the third. So that's our first hole and then do three more double crochets. So you have four in a row. And now we're gonna make the second hole. So chain two, skip two, go into the third, like that. And now we're repeating the pattern. We're, we're gonna do 15 more double crochets since we already have one for a total of 16. And then we make a hole for a hole, 
16 more, a hole for a hole, and 16 more, and so on and so forth. And I'm gonna do that, and I'll just get back to you once we get towards the end, and then I'll show you how to end it off. Okay, I'm close to the end. I just made my first hole, and now I'm making like the group of four double crochets, and then I have the second hole. So skip those two and go into the third. And at this point, you should just have enough to make six double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then six there. Because like I was saying earlier, earlier, it's gonna match up with this 10 that we had at the beginning. So then you have the 16 and it's just like seamless. So I did one, two, three, four, Five, and then six is my last one. And if you don't have this amount, like if you didn't have the six, then you've messed up somewhere and somehow the count has gotten off a little bit. That's why it's so important to like count every single stitch and make sure you're doing it correctly. And so to connect them, we're gonna again go into this second chain here. This is the first one. This is the second one. We're just gonna do a slip stitch like that. And I like to make it tight so there's not as big of a gap right there. And then chain two. And this is a good time to like try this on kind of, put it on um, and make sure that you can get it up and make sure it's not like huge on you. Just see kind of how it's gonna fit. And if it's good, then we'll keep going. For this row, we're gonna be doing a total of seven double crochets, including this initial chain two. We're always including that as our first double crochet. Um, and so remember, we're not going into there, but instead we're gonna go into this stitch. So I've wrapped my yarn around the hook and I'm gonna go into that first stitch. So now we have two double crochets. We're going for seven. So three, four, five, six, and then seven. And again, just go through that and count to make sure you have the right number. And now what you should have is you should have three stitches before your hole. So one, two, three, and then the hole. If you don't have that, then something's off. Um, so now you're gonna chain two and we're gonna make a hole right here. And then we're gonna skip these two stitches and then do a double crochet into this third one, which again should be the last stitch before the hole. So now we have that and we're gonna do four. But this time, instead of you know going into these chains for the four stitches, we're gonna be going into the middle twice. So we're gonna go in once with a double crochet, just directly into the center of this hole. So that's one, and then two. And then for our fourth, because we have three right now, we're gonna go into this stitch right after the hole with a double crochet like that. So now, as you can see, we have a hole and then the four with one in the stitch right before the hole, two in the hole directly, and then one in the stitch right after the hole. And now we're gonna make one more hole. So chain two and then skip one, two stitches, go into the third, which again is the stitch right before the previous rose hole. And now, just like we just did, we're gonna put two double crochets directly into this hole and then one into this stitch right there. So there's one into the hole, two into the hole, and then the last one goes into the stitch right after. So you should have something that looks kind of like this. Now we have one more hole. So chain two again and then Skip these two stitches, go into the third, make a double crochet, and this is what yours should look like. So as you can kind of see, 
We are staggering the holes from the previous row, if that makes sense. So like we did a hole before this hole and then we did a four in that hole, then a hole where we had a four and then a four where we had a hole, hole where we had a four. Or I guess that's not a four, that's part of our 16, but you get what I mean. Like it's like staggered like that. And now we have three holes in a row rather than two, which is what we had last row. And now we want a total of 10 double crochets, which we just did one, so nine additional. So that's 10 right there. And as you can see, we have three stitches remaining before our next hole. So that's how you know it's correct. And then you're gonna chain two. We're gonna make a hole. And this is just what we did earlier. So skip the two, go into that third chain, which is the stitch, or not chain, but that third stitch, which is the stitch right before the hole. And then we're putting two into the main hole and then one in the stitch directly after like that. Now chain two, one, two, and then skip two stitches, go into the third, which again is the first stitch prior to the previous row's hole. Go two in the middle, and then one in that very next double crochet stitch. So it looks like that. So now we've got two holes and remember we're going for three on this row. So we're gonna chain two and then do one more. Go into the third stitch after chaining two. And then this is what we've got. And now we are just gonna continue this pattern. So right after this, I'm gonna do nine more double crochets since I just did one for a total of 10. And then you chain two. Um, to make a hole and then put it back down there and then go four into there Chain two make a hole there four in there chain two make a hole and then continue on making ten double crochets And so on until the end so if you need to go ahead and watch those parts over what I just showed But we're just following the same pattern um, and so I'll just show you What it looks like when we get to closer to the end. I'm getting close to the end just made my second hole, so now I'm gonna go twice into this hole. And then into this last stitch. And then we have one more hole to make. So skip two. And at this point, we should have three more, including what we just did, because we did seven at the beginning. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it works out. So that's two. Oops. That's two. And then three. And then to end it, again, we're not going into this double crochet. We're going into the second chain of the chain two, which is right there. And then just slip stitch that. And now chain two again, and we're gonna start the next row. For the next row, we're gonna do a total of four double crochets. So we have one there, do our first into this first double crochet from the last row. So that's two, three, and then four. And you should be, you should have three stitches before the hole, just like we've done on the previous row. And now you're gonna chain two and then do a double crochet into the third chain from the hook, just like normal. And we're also just gonna do the same thing we did last row where we do two double crochets in here and then one double crochet in this stitch right after the hole. And now we're gonna switch it up and it's gonna be a little bit different. So now we're gonna chain four. And then we're gonna be making a treble crochet into this hole. So to make a treble crochet, 
This is what we would do for a double crochet, right? Just wrap it once. We're gonna wrap it one more time. So it should look like that. We wrapped it twice and then we're gonna go into the hole and then make pull up a loop. And then we're gonna yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. So you should have something like that. And then we're gonna chain four one more time. And then we're gonna do a double crochet into this stitch right before this next hole. Like that. Just a double crochet. And now we're gonna do the same thing we were doing earlier where you do two double crochets into this hole and then do one into this stitch like that and now chain two we're gonna do one more hole so skip two go into the third like that and now it should look like this and now we are gonna do another total of four double crochets so three additional because we already have one so that's our second our third and then our fourth and we're gonna do this pattern again so chain two and then skip these next two stitches go into the third which is the stitch right before the hole and then do two into the center of the hole and then do one in this stitch right after and now we're going to do the chain four and then the treble crochet chain four and then treble crochet remember you wrap twice go into that next hole yarn over yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then yarn over pull through two and now chain four again and this time we're gonna be making a double crochet into this stitch right before the next hole so wrap your yarn once go into that stitch right before the next hole and make a double crochet and now do two in the center there and then one in the stitch right after and then we have one more hole to make so chain two skip these next two stitches go into the third like that and that's what it looks like and it looks the same as the other one we did so we're gonna do three more for a total of four. And then chain two, skip two stitches, go into the third. And then do two in the middle. And we're just doing exactly what we've done twice now. Then do that final one in the stitch right after the hole. And now we're chaining four. And then wrapping twice to make our treble crochet in that next hole. So pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through two. And then chain four again. And then we're gonna make a double crochet into the stitch right before the next hole. So make our double crochet. And then do two double crochets right after into the hole and then one double crochet in the stitch right after the hole and then chain two skip two go into the third to make a hole and there you go that is the pattern i've done three now so um hopefully you can re-watch that if you need help so i'm gonna do that all the way to the end and then i'll show you what that looks like once we finish up this row. I'm almost at the end. I just did my treble crochet train, chain four and now I'm gonna do the double crochet in this stitch right before the next hole. Also, sorry if the lighting's kind of gross here. I was using natural light, but it's almost sunset. So there's not really much light here. So then I'm gonna do two in the middle there and then one in this stitch right after the hole 
So we have that. And now we have two stitches remaining, as you can see, and we're gonna chain two. But instead of like making a double crochet, we're just gonna go ahead and directly slip stitch into this second chain, just how we've been doing. Like so, and then chain two. Okay, I got a light, so the lighting's a little bit better now. So we just chained two, right? And we're gonna chain an additional two. So there should be a chain four total because the chain two is supposed to be our first double crochet. And then the second two are the chain two that we would do if we were making a hole because that's what we're doing. We're starting with a hole. So we're gonna skip this stitch and this stitch and go into the third one, just like we would normally do if we were making a hole. And now we're gonna do two double crochets in the center there. And then one right here. And now we are gonna chain five. So I chained five. And then we are gonna make a single crochet into this space, like right here. So you're gonna enter your hook grab your yarn and then just pull through both loops. And then I'm gonna scoot that over so it's like right up next to this treble crochet in the middle. And then you're gonna make a single crochet into that treble crochet. And then you're gonna make one last single crochet into this side of the treble crochet. Like that, so we have three in a row. And now you're gonna chain five again. And we're gonna make a double crochet right here into that stitch right before the next hole. So it should be looking something like that. And then just put two double crochets in the middle just like we've done before. And then one double cro crochet into the stitch right after the hole. And now chain two again and do a double crochet into this stitch right here. And then two in the middle of that hole. And then one into this stitch right here. And then we do the chain five. And then do a single crochet into this space like right next to the treble crochet from the other row and then make a single crochet into the treble crochet and then make a single crochet right after the treble crochet. So three single crochets and then chain five again and then make a double crochet into this stitch right before the next hole. Then do two double crochets in the center just like normal and then one in this stitch right after. Now chain two, then skip two stitches, go into the third, which is the stitch right before the next hole, and then do two double crochets into the hole, and then one into the stitch right after the hole. And then we chain five again, and so you can kind of see the pattern that's going here. Now we're making a single crochet into this hole right next to the other treble crochet, then make a single crochet into that treble crochet, and then one right after the treble crochet. So three single crochets. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. And then I'll get back to you once I get to the end. So I just did my chain five and then double crochet. And now I'm gonna do two double crochets in the center, just like normal. But I'm actually, since we don't have another stitch to go into, it's gonna be three double crochets in the center, like that. So we have this one that's actually in a stitch and then these three are all in that hole. And now we are gonna slip stitch into the second chain from the bottom like that, slip stitch, and then chain two. 
So now this chain two is our first double crochet. So we're gonna do two into this hole. And then we're gonna do one right here into the stitch right after the hole, just like we've done previously. And now we are gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna do a single crochet into here kind of how we did earlier, like into that loop right there, single crochet. And then we're gonna do a single crochet into the previous single crochet there. And we're gonna do that for all three. So we did that one and then we're gonna do this next one and then the one after that. So another single crochet, another single crochet. And then our last one is gonna be in this big loop like we did at the beginning. So do one more. And then chain six additional chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going into this stitch with a double crochet, the one right before the next hole. Similar concept to what we did earlier. And now you can kind of see like the flower pattern starting to emerge. And then do two double crochets into here, this hole. Then one right after, we've been doing that. And now you're chaining six again. Six. Then we're going in with a single crochet into this hole like we just did. Same thing, single crochet. And then do a single crochet into each of the three previous rows single crochets. So one, two, three. And then one more right after into this next hole there and then chain six again like that and then you're going in with a double crochet into this stitch right before the next hole and then do two into that hole you get it at this point and then one right after then again another chain six six and then do a single crochet into this big loop and then three more into these single crochets and then a single crochet right there i just continued doing that pattern until the end of the row and so i'm at the end of the row here i just did my chain six after doing you know the single crochets and now I'm just gonna do a double crochet into this very last stitch because you should have four double crochets right there. So just do a double crochet right there in that last stitch. And then I'm gonna, as always, slip stitch into the second chain from the bottom, like so. And now chain two. And then we're gonna chain another two because we're doing another hole. So we have a chain four. I'm going to skip these two next chains here and go into the third one with a double crochet. And now we are going to do three double crochets into this hole right here. So one, two, and then three like that. So we have this one that's in the stitch right before and then three in the middle of this hole here. And now we are going to chain five. And now we're gonna find the center three single crochets here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna do these three in the middle. So you're gonna go in with the, the rightmost of the three. So basically just skipping that first single crochet. And you're skipping the last as well and then you'll go into the next one and then the next one so three total single crochets then chain five again and now we're gonna do three double crochets into this big loop over here like we did on the other side and then we're gonna do one double crochet right in that stitch right there 
again just like we're mirroring mirroring what we did on the other side so we have this stitch and then three in the middle chain five three single crochets chain five three in the middle and then one stitch right there so it's like a mirror image and then we're gonna chain two because we're gonna make another hole right here and then do double crochet into that last stitch of the four right before this big hole and then we're gonna do three double crochets into that large hole just like we did previously and then we're gonna chain five again and then go into the single crochets so remember we're skipping the first and the last so this is our first one we're gonna go into the next one and then the next one and then the next one so just the middle three of the five total and then chain five again and then we're going to do three double crochets into this big opening here and then one into that stitch right after and hopefully you are kind of understanding the pattern at this point i'm almost at the end here this is the end and i just did my three double crochets into that big gap it's the second big gap um, I already did it in the beginning and it's the last one so I did my three double crochets and then I just have one more in this final stitch right there and do a little double crochet and then just go into the second chain from the bottom and slip stitch and then chain two and for the next row, we're gonna do two double crochets in the middle because we have a hole here and that's what we do. So there's two and then one more for this stitch right there. Now chain two. Now skip two stitches and go into this third one, which is the stitch right before this bigger loop. And then inside of the loop, you're going to do three double crochets again, just like we did for last row. And once you have your three double crochets, you're going to chain four this time. And then in that very middle single crochet, you're going to make a treble crochet. And then chain four again. And now we're gonna like mirror what we just did. So we're gonna do three double crochets in this loop. One, two, three. And then we're also gonna do one right there in this stitch right after the loop. And now chain two. And then go to this one, skip two stitches, go to the third one, which is right before this little hole. And then we're gonna put two double crochets into this hole. So what we do anytime we see a hole and then um, at this stitch right there, we're gonna put another one. So we have four there and then chain two again and then skip two stitches, go into the third, which is right before this bigger loop and now we're repeating what we've already done so do three double crochets into that entire loop and then chain four and now we're doing a treble crochet into that centermost single crochet like so then chain four again and then do three double crochets into this next loop that's one that's two and that is three and then we're going to do one into the first stitch after this loop like that then chain two skip two stitches go into the next one we have a hole so we're going to do two double crochets into that hole and then one right after to that stitch and then we're going to chain two again skip two stitches go to the third 
and we've arrived back at the loop. So we're gonna just keep doing the same thing. I'm gonna do three double crochets, chain four, do a ha uh, treble crochet into that centermost single crochet, then chain four again, three double crochets into this next loop. It's the same pattern over and over. So I'm gonna finish this row and then I'll get to you once I've reached the end. I'm at the end, I just did my three double crochets in the big loop and then the double crochet right after and then chain two. And now I'm gonna skip this next stitch in the following and then go into the third with the double crochet like that. And then we are gonna slip stitch them together with the one, the chain that's two from the bottom. So, and then chain two. For this next row, we're gonna make six double crochets for a total of seven, starting in this first double crochet stitch right there. So that's one, two, three, and then we're gonna make two into this hole so that's five that's two in there so that's six and then seven as you can see one two three four five six seven our seventh has three stitches before this petal loop if that makes sense so then we're going to chain two and then we're gonna skip two stitches and then the chain that we end up in is the stitch right before the loop. So it should look like this. And so next we're gonna do the same thing with the three double crochets inside of that petal. So there's three and then we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna do three more in the other petal And then one in that stitch right after the petal. And then chain two. And now we're gonna do 10 double crochets. So we're gonna skip the next two stitches because we chain two. So we're making a hole and then go into that third. And so that's one and we have nine more. So we're gonna do two in here. So we have one, this is two, three. And then we're going into this stitch right after the hole. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And notice how like my eight and my ninth were inside of that small hole because whenever you're going over a little hole, you just do two double crochets inside of the hole. And so that's 10 double crochets. Make sure you count after yourself, guys. You don't wanna get messed up. So then you're gonna chain two. And now skip these stitches, go into the third from the hook with the double crochet. And then we're gonna do three double crochets into this large loop slash petal, just like we've been doing. So now we have four there, and then we're gonna chain two. And then do three into this other petal. So that's one, two, three, and then one in the stitch right after the loop. And now it's time to go back to doing 10. So we're gonna chain two and then skip two stitches. And now we're gonna do nine more. Okay, I just finished up with the petal and then chained two, so I'm about to do like my 10, but obviously we don't have room for 10. So what we're gonna do is skip two stitches like normal because we chained two, so we're making a hole. Go into the third. Like that. And then we're gonna do two into here. And then that's it. We're not gonna do an extra into there. We're just going to slip stitch into this second chain from the bottom. And we're gonna do it kind of tightly to try and reduce that gap. 
and then chain two. And so you've probably been able to notice at this point, like we've done the flower and we're just kind of mirroring what happened at the bottom that we did earlier. So we just did this row basically. Now we're gonna want a total of 10 stitches at the beginning, including the chain two, of course. So go into that first stitch right there. Double crochet, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight and nine are going into this little hole. So it's eight and nine, and then 10. So we're relieving. And you'll know you're right if you have three stitches left before this next hole. So we're gonna chain two, skip two stitches, go into the third, like that, and then put two in here. This is gonna be our little cluster of four that we have. So we got two in there and then putting one double crochet in the stitch right after. So we have our little four cluster and then chain two and then we're gonna skip two stitches and then we're gonna start with 16 like we did on like our very first row where we started doing the skips and stuff we did 16 we're gonna do 16 now so it's 15 additional since we already have one and then we're putting two and three in here stitch number two and stitch number three that is but it's two stitches total um just like normal and then putting our next double crochet into that stitch right after. So that's four, and then five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then we're going 14 and 15 inside of the hole. And then 16, our last one is gonna be the stitch right after the hole. So then we have, again, three left before this hole. That's how you know that it's correct. So now we're chaining two, and then we're skipping two stitches, going right there. And then we're gonna do our little four cluster. So two goes in here. Two double crochets so we have three and then our fourth goes into the stitch at the end like we're used to and then chain two skip two stitches go into this one and then this is gonna again start our 16 stitches so I'm gonna do 15 more so we've got one two and 14 15 are going into this loop as well. And then 16 is gonna be that stitch right after the loop. It's always gonna be that stitch right after the loop. And then at the end, I'll show you what it looks like, but since we started with 10, we should end with six stitches remaining. So then we get a block of 16 here. Okay, I just did my last full 16 and I wanna show you how to do this next part. So I did 16, we're gonna chain two, skip two, Go into here and do our little four cluster. So put two in the hole and then one in that last space, the space after the hole. Then chain two, skip two, go into this one. And then this is where we would normally start our 16, but obviously we're not doing a full 16. We're just gonna do six. So that's one, two, three, four, and then five, and then six. So it should match up like that. And then slip stitch into the second chain from the bottom, like usual, then chain two. Okay, I changed the backdrop that I'm using to hopefully let you see this a little better. And I honestly should have done that earlier, so I'm sorry if it was hard to see, but um, basically we are done with our motif. So now what you're gonna do is just 
repeat what we just did basically but you're not going to start at the first row or the second row you're going to start at the third row because we just did the second row basically but yeah so you're just gonna skip these first two rows that we did so go back in the video to when i did row three i'll have like timestamps or chapters in the description so you should just be able to like easily go to row three and you're gonna do row three like i showed you exactly how i showed you in the video and then row four five six seven eight nine and then ten which is what we just did and then you're just gonna keep repeating that until the skirt is the length that you want i think that i'm gonna do three rows with this so like this is one row and then i'll repeat rows three to ten two more times but you could certainly make this as long as you want this would be such a cute maxi skirt okay i've made my skirt as long as i want it to be i end up doing three repetitions of the flower pattern and my last row that i did was the 10th row and at this point i am gonna do row one which is literally just a double crochet in every single stitch so i've already chained up for the next row and i'm gonna make a double crochet into that first stitch obviously again this chain two is counting as our first stitch just like normal and i'm just gonna work a double crochet into every single stitch and then i'll show you what to do when you get to like the holes but you can probably guess what you're gonna do but yeah we're just doing a double crochet one in every stitch very simple and easy so i'm getting up to a hole so i went into the stitch right before the hole and then i'm gonna do two into the hole just like normal and then one right after so it's just what we've been doing but there aren't going to be any holes or anything like that we're just going to be doing double crochets into every single stitch so it'll match that very first row that we did and then i'm actually going to add another row of the same thing where i'm doing a double crochet in every stitch because i want the waistband to be maybe a little bit thicker and this is where i'm going to be putting the waistband so i'm gonna just do this row just all double crochets and then i'll get to you once i'm done and then we'll make another row of double crochets i'm finishing up the row of double crochets and i just wanted to show you how to end it if you weren't sure so this is the last stitch because i just went into this one so i'm just doing double crochet in the last stitch and then slip stitching into the chain the second chain of the chain two just like normal but i just wanted to show you in case you weren't sure and then i'm gonna do like i said another row of this plain double crochet and so this one's gonna be even easier because i'm just going into every single stitch i don't even have to worry about like putting two into the holes or anything it's just all double crochet stitches and i'm just gonna do one into each so starting with this one i'm just double crocheting I'm sure you got this by this point. So yeah, I'm just going to do this row and then finish that up. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next. I just did my second row of double crochets and then went into that last stitch there. And now I'm just going to slip stitch to join. Please. There we go. And then chain one and now cut your yarn with a little tail left behind and then pull it through and just tighten that down but now we're gonna make our drawstring for the waist to like keep it cinched in so it's snug in the waist so just grab your yarn and make a slip knot and tighten that down and now we're just gonna be chaining like so you don't need to count really um you'll just want to make a length that's good for you here's my chain mine's about 47 46 inches long and my waist is like 25 inches so about 20 inches longer than my waist size but honestly what you could do and what i did is i just chained a bunch and then like tied it around my waist like it was part of the skirt at the point on my body where the skirt the top of the skirt would be hitting if that makes sense so just do that until it's a good length for
for you. And at this point, we are going to slip stitch into every single stitch. So I'm gonna start with the second chain from the hook. So not this one at the very top, but the next one. So just go in there and get both loops on the hook, pull up a loop and then pull that loop through like that. And go in the next one, pull up a loop, pull it through. Just a slip stitch, we've done this in the video. But basically this is just like giving it some more strength and bulk so it's not like this flimsy little chain and you see it's like it's just a little bit thicker of a drawstring so i'm just going to do this all the way down it's super easy and it doesn't take that long like it seems like it's going to take forever because it's a long chain but it really doesn't my slip stitches are done and now just chain one and then cut your yarn and pull through now I'm just going to kind of weave these in. There's no like right way to do it. You just kind of put your hook in through one of these stitches like that. And then just pull one of the pieces of yarn through. And then I'll go into another one like that. Pull the yarn through there as well. Go into one of these. You just, we're just trying to weave it in so the ends are not just loose. And then we're gonna cut them after securing them. So I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. And then I'll just tighten it and cut the yarn. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing for this other end. I weaved in the ends on the string and now we just have to do the ends on the actual skirt. So I'm just gonna flip it inside out and then just grab my darning needle and just kind of weave it around through stitches at the seam like this. And then take the end, put it through your needle and then just pull it through those stitches. And then I'll just like go back and forth sometimes as well. Pull it through and then I'll go back one more time. And then once that's nice and secure, you can just pull it a little bit and then cut the yarn and then it'll just be hidden. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other end. Okay, I weaved in all of the ends. So now it's just time to add the drawstring. So you're gonna wanna find your seam for the skirt. So that's right here. And you want the seam to be like directly in the middle of the back. So I'm just kind of folding it in half here. I don't know if you can tell, but the seam is right here, right in the middle. And then we're gonna just flip this over. And this is actually the bottom. This is the top because it has the two rows of the double crochets. So I'm just gonna turn that. And I'm actually using a bigger hook for this part, but you could still use the same size hook that we were using if that's all you have. It just makes it a little bit easier to pull the string through. So you're gonna wanna find about the middle-ish of the skirt. So this is about the middle and this is where I'm gonna enter the yarn at the beginning. So I'm just poking my hook through and then putting the yarn on the hook like that and just pulling it through that middle hole. And then I'll just pull it more so there's just a little bit hanging down. And then I'm gonna skip five stitches. So I'm skipping one, two, three, four, five, going in after the fifth, inserting my hook, grabbing the yarn, putting it on the hook and just pulling it through like that. And then I'll just grab it with my fingers to pull the rest through. And now I'm again gonna skip five stitches, but we're gonna go in from the inside. So it's like weaving in and out, you know? So skip one, two, three, four, five, insert my hook after the fifth, Take my hook and just pull that through. And then skip five, go in from this side this time and then pull the yarn through. And then you're just gonna do this all the way around the skirt. Um, so I'll just come back to you once I've made it back to the other side of the middle, if that makes sense. I've threaded in the string throughout the skirt and I ended up doing like a little bit more than five at the end like skipping a little bit more than five stitches just so it was a little bit more symmetrical but yeah it doesn't matter if you don't have exactly 
the right number of uh, stitches that you're skipping. But the skirt is now done, guys. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go try this on and then we can look at it. this video was helpful again if you have any questions or you're running into any problems then just let me know in the comments and I'll help you if I can I'll try okay I will try my hardest and as always I'm gonna ask you to subscribe or like the video or comment or just you don't have to do any of them if you don't want to but if you liked the video and you found it helpful um, then it would be really nice. And I also have so many videos lined up because it's about to be summer for me, so no more classes. So I'm gonna have so much more time to make videos. So now's the time to subscribe if you haven't already. But that's all I have for you. So I will see you next time, which is gonna be soon because I'm posting a lot this summer. So subscribe, okay? I already said it, but like I'm saying it again. Okay, bye guys.